Hi, I'm Anamika from Mia Donner and & Company and today we're going to be talking about the benefits of lab-grown diamonds. So first off, you're probably wondering what is a lab-grown diamond? And a lab-grown diamond is simply a diamond, yet we're making them in a modern-day lab environment versus getting them out of the earth. And we do this because the diamond has evolved. We can now grow diamonds that are far better and more affordable than anything we'll ever get out of the earth. But they're also free of any negative environmental or humanitarian concerns. We grow our diamonds, our lab growing diamonds, in a modern day controlled environment. Our scientists start by cutting a small piece of carbon, which we call the seed. The seed is then placed into a microwave chemical vapor deposition chamber. We release different gases um, and electrical energy, which ignite a plasma ball. Now that's the chemical reaction which, which causes carbon molecules then to rain down onto the seed, causing it to grow. Then within six to 12 weeks, we have a perfect, beautiful rough diamond, exactly the same as if we just found it in the earth. It is then cut, polished, and graded exactly the same as an earth mine diamond is. The biggest question I get about lab grown diamonds is are they real? And of course they are. Think about it like this. You can get ice from your freezer or you can get it from a glacier. Both are identical, chemically, physically, and optically identical. But one was made in your controlled environment called your freezer, and one was taken from the earth. But they are identical, chemically, physically, and optically exactly the same. They're just frozen H2O. We're just making carbon in our modern day controlled environment versus getting it from the earth. Lab grown diamonds are diamonds. Now, when I first started Mia Donner and Company back in 2005, the technology to grow lab-grown diamonds was very much in its infancy. We could only grow diamonds to a quarter of a carat and yellow in color. But we have come so far in the past 12 years that Mia Donna scientists actually grew the largest lab-grown diamond in the USA at 6.28 carats, and we did that in 2016. And now our diamonds that we're growing in a lab are far better and more affordable than anything we'll ever get out of the earth. This is actually just simply the evolution of the diamond. Now lab grown diamonds are so important in today's society. They are really the only diamonds that we can track back exactly to their origin and they are free of any environmental or humanitarian concerns. And that's actually the reason why I started Mia Donner and Company because I was looking for a conflict free diamond because I had actually unintentionally purchased a conflict diamond. Now there's a real big problem in today's society with marketing earth mine diamonds and that's through the Kimberley process. Now the Kimberley process is a fantastic idea in theory, however it's been proven time and time again it's just not working. And the biggest problem is, is that the definition of what a conflict diamond is per the Kimberley process is, it's too narrow. The definition is a diamond that was mined um, by rebel forces to fund war. Okay, but that doesn't include a child that mined it or someone that was br brutally tortured or enslaved to mine this diamond. It's still marketed to the consumer as being conflict free. However, I truly believe that is not a conflict free diamond. And that's why I started Mia Donner and Company and helped pioneer the lab growing diamond because they are truly the only conflict free diamond. Well, I hope that has answered some of your immediate questions about lab growing diamonds. If you'd like to learn more, please visit miadonna.com. Thanks so much for watching.